Hey everyone, welcome to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. I am here to teach you how to make an audio file grounding box, uh, something that has been very popular lately, and uh, it's not that hard to make. So I'll show you how. All right, let's look down here first. First thing you need, a Cuban cigar box. Actually, you can use one from anywhere. Dominican works fine. Nicaraguan is very good. Um, okay, so this is the, the main idea. You're going to have a, a wooden box. It can, it, yeah, I just recommend wood rather than plastic or anything. And you're going to mount a binding post uh, through one wall. Uh, it's just you drill a hole and put this puppy in, then run the nut, nut back on it. But actually, I'll, I have to show you something else that you do when you're mounting this. Um, this is going to take like five seconds to show you how to do this, okay? Um, inside here... Let me get this puppy open. It's kind of tight. Ooh, look at that. It's loose too. You could put like, I mean, you could pour epoxy probably on this or something to keep this from falling out. But inside here, okay, is secret sauce. Um, this is the, um, you know, everybody's recipe of mineral mix. Um, these are different minerals. There's at least five in there. Um, and you don't necessarily need five. Um, that's just what I chose. And then this is a, a foil. You can see sort of, let me try and get this out of the way. Okay, you see that right there? Okay, so what, in other words, okay, see how high this is? This is about maybe four, uh, four inches high. Okay, so inside there, maybe three inches high, I have a piece of foil. You can use copper, you can use silver, you can use whatever. And essentially, it's folded in a V. So it comes like, 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 like this down to, I can't do this with one hand. Um, okay, so I come, I'll just draw it. Um, it comes like this and then like that, okay? Like, a, actually, I might be able to outline it. Okay, so it goes like that and, and, and it sort of has a, has, a, has a radius right in here. And right in, in, and then you pop your bolt through the metal and then you bring the nut down on the back so it makes contact, okay? And then you're going to have, and then this thing can go out. You can bend the arms in a little. Um, I've seen where they, you can you can take the, um, and put like a copper wire maybe in, in the center and pigtail it squirrely all the way, you know, straight over here. But essentially you're making an antenna, okay? And then you're, you, this is empty and then you're filling it with your favorite mix of minerals, Um and um, I'm not going to tell you what these are because it took me a long time to, to figure those out. But I'll steer you in the right direction. Um, just Google ferroelectrics, um, Google paramagnetics, Google um, um, piezoelectric. Uh, and, and, and you will find minerals that react in the uh, presence of uh, electromagnetism. Um, or they will like um, draw a current near them or whatever. The idea is that this has that this pulls currents a little bit towards it. Um, and then you just put, okay, so here is the grounding uh, wire. And then on the grounding wire on the end here is some RCA plugs. And then they are only connected at the edge. Okay, so the center pin, again, it's not connected in here. Um, it's only connected to the, um, the ground return uh, inside the, um, there you can see it, inside the, um, uh, the RCA connector. So uh, that, that comes from the ground return and goes all the way down, and then you terminate right here at the binding post. So then you take this, and you go ahead and put this on your gear. You put it on an unused RCA socket. And then what that does is that grounds signal ground, takes it outside the bo outside your comp component, and it puts it into this deal. So the idea is that basically it's a little like, uh, you know, it's a ground. It's like a little piece of earth, I guess, that it's a little faked out piece of earth with stuff in it. And then, and then you know, hopefully it draws un unwanted current towards this thing. Um, you know, uh, it, 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 I, I put this together and I did, I did notice something. Um, it, 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 I don't like to admit, you know, these kind of things, uh, just because it's, it's not really science. Okay. It's not, it's, it's kind of that pseudo area where, you know, a lot of imagination can happen and you can, you can, you know, our biases are heavy things, you know, they really affect what we hear. So, but it's still fun. It's a fun little experiment to do and just to play and see, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you think you hit it, you know, and you got something good. Um, it also will really depend on the home's AC, you know, and what your grounding is like in the home. If you have horrible grounding, this thing's going to work excellent. Okay. If you've already got great grounding, you probably, you may, you may not hear anything. Um, you know, I prefer to do a, a, a dedicated earth ground at the wall behind me, right? 
right, right, well, in, in there, um, there is a, I've got four rods outside um, of, of 101 copper that's silver plated. Uh, and so I have a dedicated earth ground system for this uh, audio system uh, only. That's the only thing. Four, four ground rods that are, that are eight foot long drove into the ground just Two of them for signal ground, two of them for safety ground. So this thing's not going to do anything for me. This is for folks that have, you know, maybe you're in an apartment, you're on the second floor, you're somewhere where you can't go run a, a, a real earth ground, then you just use one of these things and, uh, and you've got a, a really interesting kind of an alternative. Um, and that's all there is to it, believe it or not. Um, uh, you know, choose wisely with your minerals and, and you'll, you'll, um, you should hear something. I know one, one person in particular, uh, a, a customer, I told him about this and he did it himself and he was all excited about it. It really worked well for him. Uh, so, um, that is, um, in, in, in a nutshell, the audio file grounding box demystified and, uh, and, 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 and made affordable for everyone. Just grab a, a box, fill it with with minerals that you think would work. Again, uh, the keywords, if you're Googling to research to find out what kind of minerals would work in there, you're going to look for piezoelectric, you're going to look for ferromagnetic, you're going to look for paramagnetic, you can look for, oh, there's, there's all sorts of stuff. You'll see diamagnetic, you'll find all sorts of different reactions that minerals have in the presence of magnetism. Um, you know, so it's, it's a, it's a crazy world. Um, anyway, so, so that'll be fun project for you, um, someday, some rainy day and, um, that's it. So thanks for joining us. Have a good one.